What is cracking guys? It's your boy Chris, the digital marketing guru. And in today's video, I want to help diagnose this issue. Someone sent me and I get asked this all the time. My WordPress website is very slow and how do I fix this and what is wrong? So let's just deep dive into this. And what I use here for a lot of these tutorials is just, uh, I have a test website that we're going to kind of deep dive into just like showing you guys what I would do. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I'm a full-time digital marketer and I help businesses with all kinds of stuff with digital marketing. And if that interests you, um, that's a whole other side story. I'll put my contact details in the description, but let's just deep dive into this. So first of all, your website is extremely slow. And uh, usually you just try to go to the website like this one here. This is my test website. And you click refresh or you go to the, the URL and it's extremely slow, right? And this is terrible news for you because it's like, this is your website and you don't want it to be slow. Okay, so first of all, um, the first biggest factor of what is on your website or what's making it slow is what 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 is contained on your website. You know, I always ask people, is there something really funky on your website? Like, sometimes people build websites for the weirdest reasons. They're just like, uh, I built this website to host uh 70 gigs of video files or something weird and it's just like uh you, you guys i'm gonna make this short and simple your website can't have tons of crazy space being sucked up on it because these free hosting providers they don't they can't afford to be like giving you guys this much hosting so what i would do is go into your wordpress website and click in the media and see what the heck is in here because usually this is images it's it's video files check to see what's in here obviously you can see there's nothing in mine and that's why mine is lightning fast so and a lot of times maybe you have like if you click on the posts maybe you have like a gazillion posts or maybe you have a gazillion pages you know that will uh that is kind of like the next tier of needing a more expensive hosting provider and a lot of times you know these free the free web hosts like HostGator and uh you know there's tons of them they can't afford to be just you know you don't get tons of space with this stuff you know where it's 15 dollars a month and it, chances are if your website is becoming super laggy and there's like a lot of stuff on it you need to just uh upgrade your hosting that's one of the biggest factors and what we can do is you can try this this is one thing you could try so go into go into your admin panel your wp admin and um go to the plugin section it's down here and let's click add new plugins you can also check to see what plugins you have uh in there um click on the popular plugins these are the most popular ones usually there's like a speed um like one that can speed up your your website what you can also do guys is to take your take your url and to use a um like a speed test i know google has a speed test um website speed test and there's tons of different um there's tons of different websites that do this here let me let me scratch this i just want to show you guys what this looks like um stop screen um stop screen sorry i'm live streaming this if you guys are wondering so that's why it like takes a hot second so um google speed test website speed test and what you want to do is here is make the web faster there's tons of like cool seo tools or like speed tests that you can test your website so um what's a website i can test that's not mine um so what you do is you just literally put in your url i'm trying to think of a basic one i don't want to do like amazon or something because it'll take crazy amounts of time um we'll just we'll just use one of mine so i have a podcast and it's fish aquarium geeks or no fish aquarium podcast.com yes i am a nerd guys so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click test our site and this is going to tell us like what the heck is going on with our website it's, and it's going to tell you what portions might be like being screwed up and a lot of times it can be like weird server errors where maybe it's like not uh caching your images white right with the server and such so what it does is it analyzes it and it you just kind of just sit here um yes that is my website if any of you guys are into fish tanks 
you can consider um, checking out the podcast. So, and this just tells you performance is a 94%. And this is, this is pretty good because literally this website is just hosting MP3 files. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff on there and it tells you the load time. It tells you the structure. It tells you um, if you come down here, HTTPS stuff. And it just, it kind of just tells you, um, th this is getting down a, a wormhole guys though. Honestly, a lot of times I find that people have crappy hosting, you know, maybe you're on like some weird free hosting that you found and you're hosting your WordPress on it. And it's like $2 a month. I would advise you spend $15 a month or whatever. Like I use HostGator or GoDaddy, something like super generic that has been just solid for like a decade. I'll throw a link in the description box to some hosting that is going to maybe better suit you because if you have a legit business website and it, you know, chances are this crappy hosting is going to go down and up and you might even get hacked with a lot of this crappy hosting. You get hacked. It sucks. Ask me how I know. Um, but yeah, for the most part, the speed, uh, check your photos, check how many posts you have, check how many, you know, the media, if you, if you're trying to host media, like videos on your website, it's just not going to work well. So hopefully that helps you guys uh, figure out why your WordPress website is so slow and how to fix it. Because this is a super easy fix. What's not easy, though, honestly, is if you have to um, if you have to move your your website to a different hosting, that can sometimes be extremely annoying. But um, again, we have YouTube and the world is your oyster. Right, guys? So without further ado, guys, I will see you in the next one. Hit me up in the comment section. Is your WordPress website super slow? You got to let me know. All right, I'll see you in the next one.